Our Arts and Humanities honoree is Senator Barbara Leff, a fan of the theater and ballet who believes education plays a vital role in shaping an arts community. I think the arts really represent the soul of a community. Um, we know when we're looking at economic development for the state and we talk to businesses who want to come to the state, one of the main things they talk about after they talk about taxes and business regulation is what's the cultural um, atmosphere of your state? What do you have to offer our employees? And the arts are always number one on that list. Senator Left's biggest impact at the Capitol this year involving arts was protecting the endowment fund. It's been going for a long time and it's finally got fully funded a few years ago. And our goal after that was to make sure that we protect it so that we would have the interest from that fund to be able to support the arts in our community. I think that with all of the budget cuts that happened, the fact that the art share was protected is, um, just shows how much people were, understood the importance of the arts in our community, in our state. Senator Leff is not only passionate about the arts. I love what I do. I love being in the legislature. I love being able to impact good, solid public policy. And, um, you know, you, you find time to do the things that you, that you enjoy. Congratulations. Our business honoree is Eileen Klein, who is Chief Operations Officer for United Health Group and who chaired the Arizona Chamber of Commerce and Industries Public Affairs Committee. Last session I worked with the Arizona Chamber of Commerce and a number of other business groups so that we could consolidate and amplify the voice of business at the Capitol. And we worked very hard to carefully select an agenda that would help not only support business and the ability to grow, but also make sure that the state's economy was poised for the long run, especially right now during this time of a downturn. Eileen says her biggest success was achieving more unification for businesses, but at times it was challenging. The biggest challenge we face is in having everyone understand business. I think that many policymakers, when they make decisions, obviously are trying to be helpful, and it's important that business help educate them on the potential economic impacts and then the potential impacts to certain business segments in particular. So depending on what decision they make, we want to be sure they're well aware of all of the potential implications. In addition to the chamber, she also co-chairs the Arizona Business and Education Coalition School Finance Reform Project and serves on the ELL task force. Both Benton Davis of United Healthcare and Dr. Rodney Armstead of AmeriChoice have been stalwart supporters of my public service and it has made for a very rewarding career aside from my day-to-day -day duties to make sure that I'm able to stay involved in public service. Congratulations. Our education honoree is Representative Mark Anderson, who's not only passionate about education, but also takes his work very personally. I actually was in the state senate and I decided to run for the house in order to chair the education committee because um, I think that's where you can make the biggest impact on the future. Uh, that's where the students are learning the core values and the, 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 the essence of what is going to make them a productive adult in the future. This year brought a number of changes on the education front under Representative Anderson's lead. One of the things that I worked on, it's been a few years now, uh, is the tuition tax credit, which, which uh, allows more students to go to private schools and so forth that you know, otherwise couldn't afford to do so. One of the other things I worked on um, is banning junk food and making sure that our schools are serving nutritious food in the K-8 through schools. And perhaps Representative Anderson's best lesson is the one he shares with his three children and two grandkids. You have to care about what they're doing. Um, you have to be involved in their activities. You have to interact with them on a daily basis. Uh, you have to be a good example. Uh, and be involved in their lives. That's the most important thing. Congratulations. Our environmental honoree is Sid Wilson, general manager of the Central Arizona Project. It's more than a ditch though. It provides an infrastructure for a lot of management programs. We can demonstrate under Arizona's groundwater management laws that we have a supply of water for the projected needs for the next hundred years. Um, and without that, we'd be in a, in a world of hurt. So 
CAP brings that water in. Chief among CAP's objectives is to protect the environment. There were concerns about visual impacts and about environmental impacts, not only in terms of, of uh, flora uh, and, and land forms that might be impacted by construction, but also by the fact that, uh, that the canal could create a physical barrier to uh, natural uh, animal migrations and movements and maybe cut them off from traditional uh, sources of water or vegetation. CAP is working to create a hiking trail along the river and develop a multiple species conservation program. I'm a Pisces, so maybe I've been a water person all my life from conception. I believe that uh, prudent management of water supplies is good for the environment because people are part of the environment. Congratulations. Our government honoree is Jan Lesher. In the past two years, Jan set out on a mission to modernize the agency. It was a challenge since it involved numerous agencies and employees. We'll make the calls you need to find the other state agencies to help you do what you need to do to run business in Arizona uh, and not to sometimes dig through that labyrinth that can be government. And we hope that that's our job and that we can accomplish that. A major accomplishment in modernizing the Department of Commerce has been moving the Research Administration Division. Working with the director of DES, Tracy Waring, and all of the folks in that division who were at DES, and I find that moving a division from one state agency to the other, particularly when there's a lot of links uh, and connections to the federal government, is not quite as easy as I thought it would be going into it. Uh, but that has happened. While Lesher is being honored for her work with Commerce, she has since moved on to a new post as Chief of Staff for the Governor. So what I really hope we can do is to make sure that we're finding a state that's not only, that we're building the state or continuing to build it so that uh, it's not only beautiful and has all the natural resources that it has, but also has an opportunity for people to, uh, to increase the amount that they're earning, to have health care and to have the full quality benefits that go with that, uh, and that we really just make this a place in which people really want to work and live. Congratulations.